Uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, you've been invited back to do a couple of these live action remakes and everything else. What was your, when you, when you were first pitched this and coming back to do this, what was your, what was your reaction to it? Well, first of all, they said, when they said Rob Marshall, my reaction was, yes, that's bucket list stuff. He's such a good director, such a smart dramatist and great person to work with. I was like thrilled. Then, um, you know, the addition of Lin-Manuel Miranda into that was just, wow, what's this gonna be like? Let's see. And I think it turned out pretty, pretty damn well. Um, so, and we had a great time. And it's also serendipity that it was Lin because of the backstory. The people, I, now I've, I've probably said it enough that I knew Lynn as a little boy because he went to the school with my niece and I would always hear about this little boy, Lynn manuel Miranda, who was obsessed with the Little Mermaid um, and so passionate about it. And, um, and now here's the adult, brilliant, accomplished Lynn manuel Miranda as my collaborator and just love it. On some of the older movies, they sometimes had the voice actor and then had someone singing the songs of some of the older Disney ones. What was it like to have people like Melissa McCarthy coming in and actually doing, doing, doing... Oh, it was that? totally appropriate. I mean, you know, why, you, you would never not speaking for sure. And and I, I had only see, seen Melissa sing and she, uh, on The Tonight Show, where she did sort of a joke performance of Colors of the Wind, where they had leaves blowing oh, in her right, face. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I didn't know how how wonderful her voice is. Um, that was just that was a, such a joy, um, uh, amazing, yeah. Yeah, and you've got obviously Hallie and, and David all performing these songs. What's it like to hear and them? and and Jonah and jo Jonah as well? What's it like to hear these songs kind of reimagined and then brought to life by by different people, different to what you've heard? Before? It's what I want. I uh, it's what I live for. No, sorry. Um, it's it, yeah. You, what you want is to have the songs be made new again for people. So, you know, I always try to avoid anything that makes these songs feel like we're just plugging them back in from, you know, from the original or from, or from the Broadway show for that matter. It should be a unique experience to this film. Yeah. There's, a, there's been a, a little bit on the internet about the Triton song being missing, but I know you've spoken about, well, about that just, for the it, it, reasons. People can hear reasons, it. Yeah. And maybe if, you know, someday maybe we'll put it back in. It's like, just like a, we had this song in Pocahontas, If I Never Knew You, sung by um, um, a John Smith to Pocahontas. And, uh, and po they sing it to each other. And it was just, we didn't really need a ballad in that spot. And then when the film was re-released, it was back in. That, that happens. Um, you know, people have to judge for themselves. The scene works really amazingly well without the song. So... So I got, you know, the best of both worlds. I got to have Javier Bardem in the studio with, by the way, Penelope Cruz there, and his kids were also there. It was, it was such a joy. That's good. And just finally, I wanted to ask you about one of my favorite films that you're involved, which is Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, are you surprised there hasn't been a new version of that on the big well, screen? Well, there was they're going to be. To, they've been trying to, haven't they? Well, they, yeah, it was just they were budget issues. Um, and uh, it would be great, sure. Um, I would love that. Um, you know, look, I, I, I never, I never cease to be amazed by the popularity of the things I've worked on, and um, so it's, um, I just sort of leave them alone, and they come back on the like Newsies, we give it up on Newsies, and the next thing I know, it's back, <laughs> and, and won me the Tony Award for best score. And it's like, yeah. and I came because we said they could, Disney could not not do it because there was such a demand; people were pirating the script mm. and doing the songs, you know, in their own little productions. And Disney noticed that, <laughs> not surprisingly. Hercules, I mean, it's, these, they, they do come back. And, and um, so I'm beyond gratified that my work has so much staying power. Yes, it certainly does. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank Actually, you. Pleasure talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.